Hi guys, uh, greetings of the day, myself uh, Vijay Tavardhan and in this session we are going to have a discussion on isometric projection and an example is like this. A triangular pyramid based on 40 mm and height 50 mm is placed centrally on a square slab 80 mm and 20 mm thick. Draw the isometric projections of the combination. So according to the given condition, we have to position a triangular basic pyramid on a square slab. Now, according to the given condition, this is going to be the orthographic projections of the same. Now, let me show you how to do the isometric projections of the same. So, using a line command, we need to construct the square slab first and using 0.5 mm thick and a continuous line. So, we will construct the 80 millimeter square first. So, 80, 30, 80, 150, 80 minus 150, 80 minus 30, I'll get back to the first position. And after which using the same line command, uh, now moving the cursor on both the lines like this, now one can get the center of the square like this. Now we know that the height of the square is 20 millimeters. So we will draw a 20 millimeter line, which is going to represent the chain line with 0.13 mm as a thickness, which is the representation of the axis of the square slab. Now using a move command, uh, switch on the copy of move, move the square from the bottom base to the top base like this, uh, then using a line command, one can connect all the visible edges of the square slab like this, uh, then the construction lines can be deleted or written as a thin line if it is required. Now one can say that the construction of uh, required isometric view of 80 millimeter and 20 millimeter 80 millimeter square and 20 millimeter take square slab has been constructed and after which we need to construct the triangular pyramid so we know that the height of the pyramid is uh, 50 millimeter and the sides of the pyramid sides of the triangle is 40 millimeter now we know that in triangle we have uh, two inclined lines now in the isometric projection inclined lines cannot be drawn at the given inclinations so using these concepts we know that this is only the edge which is there and this is going to be the midpoint of a upper edge line over here in the opposite. So using this technique, I am just going to measure the length of this triangle as 34.64 millimeter. And obviously the size of this triangle over here is 40 millimeter. Now let me show you how to do this triangle in case of an isometric projection. And all these basic details we already discussed in uh, the basics. You can go to the basics and you can learn it much more clearly. And I am going to show you the shortcut techniques. Now we know that the length of this line is 40 millimeter. So now I am going to make this line as 40 millimeter at an angle of 150 degree. And after which, from the midpoint to here, this line is supposed to be perpendicular to this line at a distance of 34.64. Using the midpoint here, uh, let me enter 34.64 and an angle is 30 degree. Now you can see that I am going to get the required triangle like this. Now, once we get the triangle, we have to draw two medians. We have already drawn one median. So now let me draw one more median. So from this midpoint to this corner. Now from this medians intersection, I'm going to get the axis portion. We know that the height of the solid is 50 millimeter. So let me give the 50 millimeter height. Now this is supposed to be a chain line with 0.13 minus a thickness. Now, uh, what I am going to do is, using a line command, I am going to complete this solid by connecting all the required lines like this to the apex. Now, whatever the construction lines are there, we can uh, delete it or we can return it as a thin lines. Now, after removing these things, whatever the visible edges are there, I am going to increase the thickness to 0.5 millimeter. Then, selecting the entire figure of the pyramid, uh, using a command called as move, switch off the move copy then move this pyramid with respect to the bottom end of the axis which is supposed to be portion on the top end of a axis of square slab like this then uh, using a zoom command i am going to enlarge this area then using a trim command i am going to trim the portion of this uh, square slab which is invisible is going to be trimmed like that now one can see that the isometric view or isometric drawing is completed Selecting that whole figure using a scale command, we will reduce it back to the isometric projection like this. Now one can see that the isometric projections of the given combination is 
completed in all aspects now if you are having any sort of doubts you can feel free to contact me at any point of time and if you are liking this video please press the like button and also you can share this videos to all your first year engineering students and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can press the bell icon so that you will be getting the more and more latest video updates once again thanks for watching my youtube channel guys thank you very much